Hi guys, in this module I'm going to talk about cross-functional flowcharts in Microsoft Visio. So I'm going to click on that option and I'll get these four options again on the second screen. I'm going to pick a blank option, I'm just going to double click on that and it gives me two default swim lines. I'm going to add a couple more. In fact, I'm going to add three more swim lines from the stencil on the left. Drop those into position and then I'm ready to add my title so the title for this is going to be induction and then the first section is induction second section is going to be admin then finance so just double clicking and typing whatever you want to call your swim lane finance HR and then production so that gives me my swim lanes. Now I just need to bring this back into the middle and start adding my shapes. Basic flow chart shapes over on the left, starting off with a beginning and end shape. Now normally if I was doing a flow chart, I would use these little tools on the outside of the shape. But I find quite often with a cross-functional flow chart, it affects the swim lanes the height of the swim lanes if you want to pull a shape over two lanes it's a bit more difficult and you end up spending a lot of time trying to resize these swim lanes so to avoid that I do it manually so I'm just going to put the connector tool on and then bring a decision shape on and the connector tool should connect up and then another end shape so start this is decide end and then a process underneath, before I do that actually, I need to click back onto this one. Process underneath into admin and the shape should snap. Now this is the one that I want to make a bit bigger. So I'm going to take the connector tool off, click pointer tool and resize this one so it goes over two swim lanes, finance as well as admin. And then I'm going to put the connector tool back on and do a decision coming out of the top of that one and then click on this one make sure I'm on that pull an end off that one and that's my process there now coming out of this one I want a I'm going to click on this one because I've still got the connector tool on I want another process in HR that connects out and then I click on HR a decision coming out of HR and another end coming out of that one so you can see with the connector tool on it automatically snaps in place if it gets too confusing you can just take it off and manually connect these up afterwards and then coming out of the bottom of this one so if I click back onto this one uh, I have another process and then coming out of there I have another end so that is how you quickly um, create a cross-functional flowchart I'm going to take the point yeah, click the pointer tool on, make sure the connector is no longer on. And obviously you would have to fill these in with text. Now if I click on this shape, I'm just going to activate or have a look at shape data. So I'll click on shape data. This is a shape data, the preset shape data for this particular shape. In fact, I'll just um, type some figures in there. If I put 100 in there so there's some figures in there what I want to show you now is how to use the data graphics feature so I want to place a data graphic on this shape and I could do it for all shapes if I selected all shapes but just for this shape go into this advanced data graphic option I'm going to create a new data graphic and new item then you choose the field so I'm going to choose the cost field because that's what I've got money in and then I'm going to select um, data bar so the default setting in data bar is 0 to 100 which I'm going to leave on I'm going to select a different option though I'm going to pick this speedometer so that's the icon there's the position of it where it's going to sit click OK to that and and then click OK and then it's asking me do I want to apply this 
I'm going to say yes and then I get the icon now that is sitting not in a good place because it's affecting this line so I'm just going to go back into that and see if I can edit that slightly change the position of it so if I go center in fact not center I'll go right and top this should sit at the top um, let's have a look at that one yeah so that's okay so it says cost it tells you what the field is and it gives you the indicator there so if I click OK to that now my line has gone back as I had it initially and when I click off that everything looks okay now if I change this figure in the shape data window say to 45 for example that will reflect that change and just to recap on a previous session I did if, remember if you right click and go into this menu data and define shape data you can add new elements so I'll just call this test so you can see it and I'll leave it as a a string um, but you can format it you can change it to a different type of thing you can put a prompt in there you can actually delete some of these maybe that you don't want this one function for example is just giving you a description of what the shape is and then you click OK and then that field becomes available which you can then type in because I left it as text now I could have done that for any of those shapes now that's just a very quick overview of a very basic cross-functional flowchart and a quick recap of shape data that's all I'm going to cover for today thank you for your time